All right, here we go. The next type of walkthrough we're gonna talk about is a 360 video silent walkthrough. Now, what is a silent walkthrough, you might ask? Basically, it's just a 360 video that you or someone else takes of the property. Just walking around the property, no script, no talking, just a 360 video camera and the sound of your feet and <laughs> your footsteps for a few minutes. So without a doubt, this is the fastest and easiest way to showcase a property in 360. You can't do a 360 tour in this amount of time. You can't do, you know, sometimes with the audio when you're trying to do a normal 360 walkthrough that has a regular uh, where you're talking, sometimes you can get caught up and, oh, did I just say that right or not? And for whatever reason, sometimes I can get caught up in that and it takes a few takes, a, a few times longer to get it right. This is low tech. For you, it's low tech. For Google, it's not. For YouTube, it's not. But for you, it's super low tech. And it's easy to showcase the space in 360 degrees. Now, I got to warn you, you might feel a little awkward doing it uh, because you're just walking around looking at the camera. But it might help you to know that most people are not going to be looking at your beautiful or handsome face uh, as they do these tours. They're going to be looking around the room. They're actually not going to be looking at you. They're going to be looking at the floor, the ceiling, the crown molding, the tile, the countertops, all that stuff. So don't worry about it. Now I want to show you an example of this right here. So go ahead and play it. Click the link right below this video and you can play that video. And actually it might be more helpful just to, to uh, copy this link and send it to yourself so you can watch it on your smartphone. The, the way that we want most people to experience 360 tours. Okay, so after watching that video, you can see that it literally only took me the amount of time it took me to walk around the house, and it was done. <laughs> That's it. There was no rehearsing, no second take, third take, fourth take. There was no audio mess-ups or speaking gaps. It was easy. Okay, now you might be asking, why would I use this, or what would the use case be for this? Why would I want to use a, a silent walkthrough? Well, one use case is if you're struggling to get that monologue out <laughs> when you're doing the, the walkthrough where you talk, uh, sometimes it can be, you know, did I say that right? Did I, did I look, was my hair, oh, my hair was messed up, or did I say the right thing? Or, you know, was everything that I said accurate? You know, uh, you know people are gonna be looking at the camera holder in the, in the uh, silent walkthroughs, but they're not gonna be looking at you as much as they would in a, uh, tour where you're talking to them. Uh, it just feels more natural to be looking at the person you're talking to. But even in that situation, they're not going to be looking at you that much. They're going to be looking at the house. That's why they're there, not to see you. But uh, these type of tours are really helpful when you don't want to rehearse and you don't, you're worried about messing up and you just want to have it done. You know, another use case for this, another reason why you might want to use a 360 video is if you don't have time to shoot all your listings or you know, maybe you're a brokerage and you want to do all your homes. Maybe you don't have time to get all your agents to go do all their homes. So, you know, different local associations have different rules. But if you can have a staff person or a staff person with your brokerage, someone who can legally enter the home and uh, shoot, shoot picture, shoot photography, shoot 360 video, then you could, this is by far the fastest way to get tours online. And then you have 360 videos for each of your listings. You can share them within your brokerage. You can share them with other agents that are interested in that property. So that's another use case. And a third use case is it creates thousands of hotspots. I mean, literally thousands. So a silent walkthrough allows the buyer to see every inch of a house. It's video, so there's 30 frames every second that are being taken. Now, how can I say that? How can I say that each of those are hotspots? This is the crazy part. Okay, I'm gonna flip on over to the screen, my uh, cell phone screen here, and I want you to click. I'm gonna click. <clears throat> so here's that silent video footage that I showed you earlier. Now I can pause, let's say pause right here, anywhere. I can pause anywhere on this video, and I can look around, up, down. Look at this, I can look all around the video. 
the video is paused and I can still look around. It's totally crazy and I can do that at any second of this video. This is a four minute video. There's 30 frames in a second. That's 240 seconds times 30 frames. That's 7,200 unique hotspots in 360 Tour. You could never put 7,200 hotspots in a, in a static tour where you're hopping from photo to photo or even hopping from hotspot to hotspot within a room like a Matterport tour. So this is a real, this is phenomenal and really it's only because YouTube has been doing this for five years and ironing out the kinks before we even knew that we wanted to go here. They've been preparing the way for us. So salute to you, Google. You did a great job. Now I want to say that photos still have better resolution than video. You know, uh, a photo you can zoom in. I mean, you couldn't pull a a professional looking listing photograph off of a video. It would just be too pixelated. It would not be the high high enough resolution. But off of a, a high quality 360 camera, you could do that off of a, a still photo, a still 360 photo. So photos are still superior, especially if you have a nice camera like a Theta Z1 or a KuCam 8K or something like that. Uh, but a video is an amazing way to give your clients a 360 virtual experience. In fact, I think it's probably the most impressive way to give your clients a 360 virtual experience. Um, it's certainly better than still, flat, professional photos like the 24 listing photos that you put on your MLS. Those are still relevant now, but I'm not sure how much longer they are gonna be. They still are king in every MLS in America right now, but I think the current situation that's going on here in 2020 is showing us that there's a new way coming and you wanna get on that wave. And congratulations for jumping in. You're in that wave. Let's keep on singing. Let's keep on going. Um, a few pointers when you do these silent walkthroughs. One is don't rush it. Just walk at a normal pace. You can stop for a second or two, move from here to there. You don't want the camera moving super fast. Um, if you, if you move the camera too fast, you can actually blur the motion, blur the image a little bit. It's called motion blur. Now I say that, but on the other side of the equation, don't go too slow either. Because it's if you go too slow, people are gonna be like, man, this is so long, how do I fast forward to the next part? And they're gonna be scrubbing through your timeline and your audio back and forth trying to find that the living room. Uh, remember, they can always pause. If you're going at a, at a decent rate, they can always pause any moment in the film in the uh, video to look around so they don't need you to go slow in order to see everything you really only want to go as slow as you have to go to not blur the image which I would say aim for about three to six minutes on your on your tours I would say that's a good amount okay one and done you did it silent walkthroughs they are the fastest simplest and easiest way to showcase a listing in 360 you won't find anything faster, you won't find anything simpler, and you won't find anything easier thanks to Google, thanks to YouTube.